All right, so uh, we, after several attempts to find where we wanted to go today, um, I had a plan A, a plan B, a plan C, and so forth. And it was funny because every one of my plans, we ended up at a dead end road uh, into somebody's property, even though it is listed as forestry roads. And so, you know, as time changes, some of those forestry roads just kind of disappear. Anyways, we ended up going on to Blewett Pass and we got all the way to the top of the pass and we're turning off onto uh, a Beehive Liberty Road, which is not the name of it, but that is actually where we would come out is if we turn the right directions, we could go out, come out in Liberty, or if we go the direction we want to go, we're gonna come out in Beehive. All right, it's a beautiful day. It's a little chilly, but uh, definitely a nice, perfect day for a drive because it's sunny. It's Friday afternoon though, so we don't have as much sunlight uh, remaining in the day because it's after work, but it should still be an excellent drive. More to come.
Jeep trail and we've came across a log amongst all the other logs that have fallen in this area. So we get to get the chainsaw out and cut it out of the way. Not a real big one, but definitely not the best to probably just roll over. It's a really cool area. It's dead, dead trees, um, new growth starting in. Nice and quick. Three wheels.
So we made it up to a lookout. Uh, this is a great spot on this Jeep trail. Um, it overlooks Blewett Pass, so you can see there's some rock structures here. It's basically the peak of where we're at. Um, and Blewett Pass is down this way. So you can see right down here the road. Uh, that is Blewett Pass. That is the top of it. It's actually about, that's where we turned off and we've been snaking our way through all the mountains here up to this spot. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a really gorgeous view. You get the mountains in the background. Uh, Leavenworth is over that way. You can see, um, in fact, if I move a little bit, so there we go. So that is Wenatchee right there. You can kind of see the, the parts of the houses, part of the city, a little bit of the river up higher. So yeah, um, just on the other side of this mountain right here is Kashmir. So it's down in there. Leavenworth is further up this way. But it's a spectacular view. You got an almost 360 degree look out up here. You can see that there's snow coming in on the peaks. Of course, we passed a little patches of snow, but. And it's just, it's a, this is a great spot. On top of these rocks, it's gonna be hard to tell the perspective, but on top of these rocks, you can see it just dives off and it goes down. It's very steep. Um, but this is a really cool rock formation here at the top of the hill. All right, well, more to come. Uh, it's been a great trip so far. Uh, I really love these more technical trails. I hope there's, actually, I know that there's more of this coming, so that'll be great. Hopefully we'll get it all still in the daylight. So I didn't catch it right at dinner time because we were cold and we were eating. <laughs> uh, but now we want to know what did everybody have for dinner? What did you have for dinner, Jazz? Um, we had um, ch a piece of chicken and chili mac. Chili mac. <laughs> chili mac, and is that the remainder of what's left? Yes. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want it again? Yes. This was one of those. What, what was it called? Chili Mac. <laughs> no, it was one of those recipes. It's like a one pot that you can do in your Dutch oven all in it. So typically it just calls for ground beef, but we like a little bit of a Italian sausage in with it. So it was a combination of Italian <laughs> sausage and ground beef and some black beans. And then your all your chili seasonings that you put in for when you make chili, but then you add a elbow macaroni to it and cheese as well. So turns it into a chili mac. Was this similar to the recipe Makayla had back on our Olympic Peninsula trip? It's the same recipe. It's the first time that we've tried it. Oh, nice. I've been saving it for when it's a cold day or getting colder weather out for us. So, and there was none left. The whole thing was gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, it must've been good. Was it good, Zaylin? Yes. Are you cold? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, it's freezing. Oh, it's freezing. <laughs> It is. I forgot. I pre I pre-made the meat and I pre-cooked the uh, noodles as well. So I just had to heat it all up. Oh, that's nice. Time saver. Yes. Okay, mom. What did you have? You and dad. Hot chocolate. <laughs> you just had hot chocolate for dinner. <laughs> and I had some chicken. Okay. I can't see it hardly, but I shared that, and you guys graciously shared your meal with us too. Yep. So that helped because I didn't really plan on a lot of dinner tonight and dad was fine with that but i think he was ready to eat <laughs> so the hot chocolate tastes really good though right now <laughs> well uh we got to show this view because we couldn't see it earlier and may not even be able to see it on the camera now but that peak right there is mount rainier so the sun has just gone down the clouds have just opened up enough we couldn't see it earlier and now it's a spectacular view it is, um, I don't know what our elevation is, but it's definitely a lot higher than us. What's our elevation? It's real close to 6,000 feet. Do we know what Rainier is? Is it like 15? <clears throat> we're 5,895 feet. So we're, we're right, almost right there to 6,000, but yeah, Mount Rainier. It's super perfect. Yeah, I want to say it's 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 fourteen thousand. 
So, yeah, this this view is awesome. It's got a lot lot to it. 360 going on. Beautiful. If you want to see the valley and what the terrain looks like, this is an awesome spot to view it because you got towards Seattle, you got Mount Rainier, and towards Wenatchee, both directions. Mount Rainier is 14,409 feet. Ella. So we were pretty close. We were pretty close on our estimates. Yeah, I said 13 or 14, so yeah. I want to show this little spot because it's a little, just the rock jets over, but right below it, it's got that perfect spot for a fire pit. You got enough cover right here so where if there was any wind, you're not directly in it. So. Yeah, this is this is one of our favorite spots to come up to, and the view is worth every bit of the travel. Um, so now we're gonna finish out the Jeep trail after we pack up all of our stuff, and we're. Can you see Blue Pass Highway down there? Yeah, we looked at Blue Pass earlier. Um, there it is again. Actually, if you watch really carefully, you can see some of the car light. coming around the corner on it. I'll have to zoom in. All right, well, more to come. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.